In this animation, we present the US textile cycle in 2017 to illustrate how textile fibers move along the value chain from production to end of life. The life cycle starts with fiber input to yarn production and includes fabric production, product manufacturing, end use, and end of life management. In this study, we focused on four types of natural fibers. Cotton, with most of the US cotton produced having been exported to other countries, wool, linen, and silk, and two types of man-made fibers, cellulosic and non-cellulosic. The produced fibers become the input for yarn production together with some imports. After some production losses, the produced yarn is mostly used for domestic fabric production, with the exception of cotton, which is mostly exported. In fabric production, the produced yarns together with some imports are converted to fabrics, with some of them being exported. Most of the man-made fibers are used directly in manufacturing. Manufacturing consists of four final product groups. Apparel, with most of the clothing manufactured in the US made from natural fibers. Home furnishings, also made primarily from natural fibers. Industrial applications, mostly made from man-made fibers. And floor coverings, also made predominantly from man-made fibers. The manufactured final products are then entering end use, together with substantial amounts of imported final products. Imported apparel made of both cotton and man-made fibers, home furnishings made of mostly man-made fibers, and some floor coverings made of natural fibers. Textile products then remain in use as part of the in-use stocks with lifetimes of around four to nine years. In end-of-life management, textile products that are no longer needed or functional reach the end of life with most ending up in landfills, around 70% in 2017. Some textiles were combusted or incinerated, and only a small fraction was recovered. Recovered textiles also include pre-consumer scrap. A major portion of the exported textiles was end-of-life apparel for reuse or recycling in other countries. The remaining recovered textiles were either refurbished into wiping cloths for industrial use or recycled into fibers to be used in industrial applications or for the manufacture of floor coverings. This research was conducted by Shahana Altaf and Barbara Reck at the Yale School of the Environment with support from the Remade Institute. Thank you for your attention.